uh, in view. <laughs> Sorry. Is, is you okay? That's perfect. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, um, we appreciate the, uh, your time today here at the New Employee Orientation. Again, my name is Brian Beats. I'm with Great West Retirement Services. Uh, the person that is normally here uh, doing this piece is Darren Wagerman, and uh, he's the, the guy that comes up here regularly to see employees with the county. He got married yesterday. I was at his wedding, and so he's off on his honeymoon today, so I get to pinch hit for Darren today. Um, how many of you have been in a pension plan before of any sort? A few of you. Okay, so, and there's many different types in the code. Uh, if you work in the corporate sector like I do, you have a 401k plan. If you work for a nonprofit or a school district, you have a 403b plan. Cities, counties, states, special districts have what's called a 457b deferred compensation plan. And that's the plan that Butte County has available to you. Um, the deferred compensation plan, like a 401k or a 403b, is a payroll deduction process. You decide how much you want to put into the plan. Uh, it comes out of your paycheck every two weeks. You can start it, stop it, increase it, decrease it, move the investments around. You have complete control over it. Um, unlike your defined benefit plan and Social Security, those two, uh, they decide how much you put in, when you put it in, and when you get it back. With the deferred comp, it's the one pension piece that you have control over, especially because you can decide how much to put in and what options to put it into. And so as you put in money, it grows in compounds without taxation, so you get tax-free compounding on the money. And then eventually, someday, when you do retire from Butte County, uh, then you can take the money out as taxable income. The joy of the 457 plan, unlike those other code sections or even an IRA, is let's say that you're fortunate enough to retire before age 59 and a half, 55, 56, 57. The money in the 457 plan, you can actually draw out of the plan without it being su subject to the excise tax penalties uh, that are uh, that a 401k or a 403b or an IRA are subject to. And that adds 12.5% to your taxation. So with a 457b deferred compensation plan, it's just subject to ordinary income. And if you are diligent about this and you do this for a good period of time and no one is too young or too old to start, if you do it diligently, you can save a lot of money in this plan. We have participants here at Butte County with an ex in, in excess of a half a million dollars in this plan. We have a lot of participants across the country with over a million dollars in the plan. Uh, but it, it, it does take a lot of time and a lot of, uh, a lot of planning to get there. And, and really, the beauty of this plan is its payroll deduction. So every two weeks, whether you're putting in $10 or $500 a paycheck, it happens every two weeks. It doesn't decide to take a two-week period off unless you stop it or change it. And that's, that's why it really works for you. The other thing I would tell you as you enroll into the plan is, uh, especially if you're going to be here for more than 10 or 15 or 20 years, be aggressive about your asset allocation. The one thing we find is a lot of people are too conservative. CalPERS, it's a guaranteed deal. Social Security, it's a guaranteed deal. So you should be aggressive on your allocation in the deferred comp plan. Of course, if something happens to you, uh, you were to die, uh, this money would go to your beneficiaries. Um, if you, let's say you don't make it a career here at, uh, at Butte County, let's say you're only here for 10 years, and then you go on to Sacramento County, or you go to work for the city of Orville, you can actually transfer this money over to their plan, or roll it to an IRA. So it's completely portable from that standpoint. And it is one of the best things you can do for yourself by putting this uh, money away, uh, especially if you're on the younger side. Like I said, uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, $50 a paycheck over 20 or 30 years equates into hundreds of thousands of dollars in this. And it can really, for some people, in my case, it'll be a bigger piece of my retirement income than any of the other pieces because I've been putting money into a, into a 401k plan for well, way too long, 23, 27 years. Um, just about done. I'm going to give it up one of these days. Um, any specific questions I can answer for you? Again, it's pre-tax dollar, payroll deduction, pick an amount between $10 and almost the sky's the limit. You can do up to $17,500 a year if you're under age 50, a bit more if you're over age 50. You can increase it, decrease it, stop it, start it, change it anytime you want. It's just a great opportunity. It's a benefit you have as an employee of Butte County and uh, it's just something you should embrace and get it going. And if, if, if money is tight now, start it at 10 bucks a paycheck. 
get it started. You'll get a quarterly statement. It'll remind you. And then what I tell participants is when you get a step increase, when you get a salary increase, when you pay off an auto loan, then bump it up a little bit. And just try and increase it. And, and your goal should be to try to get to a maximum contribution someday. Any questions? Man, I wow. <laughs> Scary talk. stuff. Okay. okay. The, yes, yes. So is this available for us to kind of change online through? Absolutely. What will happen, and again, there's, there's two providers here. Great West is one provider. Um, Mr. Tomasini is with ICMA. They're the other provider. Once you enroll in either plan, a uh, matter of a few weeks after that, you'll get a PIN number, a welcome letter in the mail, and then you'll be able to go online and manage your account. Absolutely. And we'd like you to use the website. Yes. So I'm wondering, um, the money that we put in, is it ever, like, is it matched? It's, it, you don't have a matching contribution because Butte County puts a sizable amount of money in the defined benefit plan for you, in, in CalPERS. Um, and so you very, very seldom see a match in a governmental 457 plan. In the private sector, like me, I get a match on my 401k, but there's, you know, for, for people that we've hired in the last 20 years, they don't have a defined benefit plan. So there's not a match, but every dollar goes in pre-tax. So let's say you put in $3,000 over the course of the year, and let's say you make $30,000 working here at Butte County. At the end of the year, when you get your W-2, it'll say taxable income, 27000 That 3000 you put in comes right off your state and federal taxable income. It's a tax break. It's just like putting money away in an IRA. This is really, for a county employee, this is a no-brainer. It is completely a no-brainer. The only issue you have to remember is that you really don't have access, other than a couple of really small idiosyncrasies, you don't have access to this money until you leave employment with the county. But you can move it around, increase it, decrease it, whatever you want. Yes, ma'am. Um, so I recently switched from me extra help to regular help. Yes. So I already have an account. And right. So where? So I what you should do in the in the booklets that you received here, there in the back of the booklets near the end, there's an enrollment form, there's a beneficiary form, and to answer your question, there's an incoming transfer form. So you can transfer if you enroll in the plan here with Great West, you can transfer that extra help plan into the full time plan. <laughs> that way you won't have two plans. Right. Yes, ma'am. I had a break in service, and so I, have, I left my money in when I left the county and I'm back. So like, would I go into the same plan or I have to have a new plan? Um, nope. You have the same plan, and, the, and actually the very first form in the booklet after some of the information mm -hmm. is a contribution form, and one of the boxes says restart. Okay. Put your name, check restart, put the amount, and away you go. Okay. So anyone that's been in the plan, stop. You're, you, you're in the same plan. You just start it back up. And if any of you have been in a plan uh, before, uh, you can also transfer existing money from another pension plan. Let's say you have a small IRA, small 401k. You can roll those into this plan as well. So I would encourage you to meet with Darren. Uh, Ray has got his phone number. She'll give you his cell phone number. You can call him at any time, and he will sit down with you one-on-one -on -one if you want to go through all the forms. Or you can complete them, and Ray knows the forms very well. She can walk you through them and help you complete them as well. Yes, ma'am? So it sounds like we want to be able to take a loan out of it. There is a loan provision on the plan. Oh, there's not a loan provision not on the yet. plan. Not yet. Coming. Stay tuned. But there will be a loan provision eventually. We're, we're working our way through that. We're getting it set up administratively. But eventually, that will be one way to access the money. Yes, a question back here. If we were to roll an existing 401k over into this plan, is there any penalties to roll No. It's No. It's a, it's a trustee to trustee transfer. We have you, we, Darren would work with you on this, fill out the form. The money goes directly from the 401k provider into this one. I will, I will tell you, let's say you did it this month. About next April or March, you'll get a 1099 from that 401k company. Don't panic. It'll show the amount you rolled in, but then when it says taxable portion, it'll say zero. But that, that just notifies the IRS you move money from one plan to another. So you do get issued a 1099, but the tax complication is zero. And yes, ma'am. Because I'm not a financer. <laughs> What is the benefit of taking an existing 401k and rolling it into this? The, the advantage is you may have an administrative fee on it. Uh, if it was with a smaller employer, typically the expenses will be higher on a small 401k plan. You have to remember, this plan has got, uh, Rhea, I'm guessing, it's going to be about 
50, 60 million, 40, 50, 60 million dollars is what plan participants have in the Butte County Deferred Comp Plan. So you just kind of put on your thinking hat. If I go to a financial institution with 40 million dollars, what sort of pricing schedule are they going to give me compared to a small 401k plan with $2 million. It's not a fair fight. And so typically, uh, the biggest plan you can get into is going to be the least expensive with the best options. And there's a committee that, uh, that we meet with every quarter, and we go through the options, and if some of them aren't performing well, they get replaced. So we take on that fiduciary responsibility of making sure you have high quality, low cost options in the plan. This really is a, just a fabulous deal for, for Butte County employees to take advantage of. And you should seriously consider, like I said, even if it's $10 a paycheck, get it started. Because we see people, the only complaint we get is, yeah, I was at that meeting three years ago, and now I'm finally doing it. I lost three years of growth and compounding on my money. It makes a big difference at the other end. So get it started. Do, do this as an early Christmas present to yourself. Yes, sir. If you're looking to expand your portfolio, can you have more than one 457 account or just one? Well, there's multiple options. There's 20 or 30 different options in the plan. You can mix and match those options any way you want. But if the only way you'd have two 457 plans is if you work for both Butte County and somewhere else and they had a plan too. And you could contribute to two different plans. Let's say you worked part-time as a professor at Butte College. So you could be in their 403B plan and this 457 plan, but there's, there's limits on how much you can put in if you contribute to more than one plan. But most of you are, everyone in the room is a full-time employee? Yes. Okay, so most of you probably won't have access to contribute to another plan if you're working full-time here unless you're you know, doing something in the evenings or but something like that. But he may be asking, is it possible to make contributions to Great West and ICMA? Is that, was that your question? Uh, yes, something along those lines. Yes, absolutely, you can make a contribution some to ICMA and some to Great West, all ICMA, all Great West, however you want to do it. The county just makes two different record keepers available to you. And Great West is the largest record keeper in the governmental space. We, we do 20 state plans. Uh, um, we're, uh, by participant count, we have more participants than anybody in the governmental space. So we're, you know, and ICMA is a, is a big, strong company as well. So, you, you know, you're well equipped uh, with two really good secure financial institutions to do the record keeping and, and the investment options for you here at Butte County. Other questions? Yes? Uh, are there funds set up where the, the, the um, businesses that are in within that fund are guaranteed to be environmentally or corporately There, There are some socially conscious funds in the plan. Um, I'm responsible for 40 plans and 30,000 participants, but let me look here on this plan. The Aerial Small Cap Value is a socially conscious fund. Um, there's a couple of them in here. The Aerial Appreciation Fund is a socially conscious fund. There's, so there's at least two in Does here. Does it say it somewhere? I'm not jumping out the, the, two, the two funds that have the name Aerial, A-R-I-E-L, are socially conscious funds in the Great West platform. And John Rogers, that runs Aerial Capital Management, is the largest minority-owned, uh, socially conscious investing firm in the country. Great. He's got a great track record. I saw one more hand somewhere. Yes? I was just going to ask, like, in my husband's, he, um, his work has, like, stocks. And so how much he's put in, it's actually higher than how much he's put in because of that. Is what we put in, is it going to be that? Or like after a year, let's say I put in eight hundred dollars, it's going to be eight hundred dollars. No, what what'll happen is that there's different. There's a whole range of investment options. Some of them are variable, meaning they invest in stocks and bonds. They go up and down with the market. There's also guaranteed options. That's true of both ICMA and Great West. And so again, that's what I was saying early. If you're young, you're probably best served to pick an aggressive mix, which means mostly stocks maybe a few bonds, a little bit in the guaranteed account, because the stocks are where you have your greatest upside potential. But you also have to be able to stomach the ups and downs in the market. Uh, in 2008, the market you know, took a 30% dive. Those that stayed in came out the other side and are 20 or 30% above that level. Those that panicked and bailed out locked in that loss. So you just have to know this is a long-term investment. And remember, your investment horizon is not from now to the day you retire, it's from now to the day you die. 
So if you're going to retire at, say, 60 years of age, the average life expectancy is almost 90. So most of you will live 20 to 30 years in retirement. And uh, you, know, you only need a 10-year time horizon to have a reasonably aggressive investment mix. So be aggressive about your investments. And just, you know, if, if they go down, then that's when you give uh, Mark or Darren a call, and they'll pat you on the shoulder and say, it's OK, it'll come back, and, and away you go. But you really do want to be aggressive about it. That, that's how your account will be sizable when you retire. Uh, there may be some situations where you should be in the guaranteed account, but I don't see anybody in the room as old as me, so, and I'm 95% on the variable side still. So that, that's really where you're going to see the growth in your account. Any other questions? If not, I'm going to turn it over to Mark. Okay, thank you for your time today. So now we're going to have uh, uh, Mark Tomasini with ICMA. He's going to...